everyone, and welcome back to No Man's Land and the Everything Challenge. Got our handy little vent here with the uh, lime spreader. Needs to get refilled, it's completely empty. Let's uh, run over to the shop. The plan for today is to finish off February by just liming this field and its uh, friend over here to the right. And then we can call February done. We've sold all the materials for the for the month and basically kept everything happy. The uh, animals are fed and stuff like that has been done. The only thing I haven't checked is whether the BGA has material in it, particularly slurry. So while this liming is going on, if uh, if it is empty, we'll do that. Fingers crossed the pallet limit is not a problem. Let's see if we can buy some lime. We'll try to do eight. And too many pallets. Mm. Right, two. Yeah, we are right. Too many pallets? Wow, are we right at that limit? Too many pallets. Yeah, so we're going to have to deal with that again. It's like the third episode in a row. We're really going to have to work out a solution for this because the power limit is starting to make gameplay quite difficult. Let's see if we can do it just with that one bag we picked up or is it just something that we just cannot, no, we cannot do. So in light of that, uh, let's jump across to the yard. Let's uh, jump into the forklift and move some stuff that can be moved. So the starters, I saw that there was a bale out there in the field. So let's pick that up. I'm not convinced whether bales actually do contribute to the power limit. Uh, this will be an interesting way of finding out. What we'll do is we'll put this in the shed and then we'll try to buy a pallet, and if we can, we'll, that will kind of give us the evidence that it does matter. So, this is a grass bale. So we use these with the sheep. Quickly run it back. I'm really impressed by how stable this Lizard 45 is. It doesn't topple over very easily, and it can uh, carry quite a bit of weight. Uh, so quite impressive. Dump that in there. We can get it out. Pop. So let's try to buy a bag now and see if that is allowed. No, it doesn't seem like that actually helps. Okay, so in light of that, we actually need to get rid of pallets and explicitly pallets. We do have these popular pallets hanging around. They were, uh, I bought four of them to do our field, but it did not need that many. And there's, this one's relatively empty, as you can see, but there's three full ones up at the shop. I don't know whether we can sell these back to the shop. I uh, will have, we'll just try, I guess. I'm gonna drive over the spawn point. Fingers crossed that it will let us. Um, it doesn't look like it, so it looks like they're going to be a debt that we're just going to have to accept that we've got. Maybe the answer is just to go plant them. I mean, not that I really want to, but find some area of the property and do that. So I'll dump these with the other ones. So that's like four a four count that we're going to have to deal with. So yeah, there's a the tip for the day that popular pallets cannot be got rid of. Let's grab these two IBCs. Uh, I think I can squeeze them onto here. Um, let me pick this one up and get it closer. So the left one it looks like to be herbicide and the right one is fertilizer. Let's just bring these down to the yard and see if we can put them into uh, the respective machinery. There's not much in each, a thousand-ish, so hopefully there's that much space in each of the tools. The blue one right here is the uh, the one that was herbicide. What's this other pallet? This other pallet is, that's also fertilizer. So let's see if this blue thing needs any at least. We'll have to use a tractor for this. 
So, just detach that. The wind railway can just be dumped here on the grass for now. We are slowly, or we are past, I was going to say slowly running out of space. We've run out of space badly. So, we definitely need to probably put down one more shed. Oh, that's full. Oh, that's unfortunate. Hmm. All right, so th that's not helping towards our pallet limit. Um, let's grab the two fertilizer ones, because we keep our liquid fertilizer uh, based implement uh, up where all the semi-trailer stuff is because it's so big. So let's run these over to where that is. The other option that we're going to have to maybe face is just selling stuff. Um, you know, some of the things like wood actually aren't that bad a price. So maybe that is the answer. All these wood products don't actually have that much variability. Let me get this behind here. And we'll grab... Yeah, we'll go jump back into the New Holland here. And attach that to that uh, planter. We keep on getting that uh, horse velocity cannot be put in the stable thing. So I've, since I've uh, ridden them, it's risky now turned up as uh, like a machinery. So as I tab through things, it uh, now actually is in the tab list. That's also full. I have this really bad habit of keeping things full. Hmm. The big question is, Hey, what are these? These are floor tiles, and what's the price? Because this is the obvious thing to get rid of. So floor tiles, what are you worth? All right, here's floor tiles, three, four, three, two. Oh, it's nearly at the top, and there's not that much variance anyway. Let's get all these loaded into a truck and sold, and that should give us back a good, well, a lot, a good 10 or 20 or even 30 positions. So let's get the uh, semi over here, and I'll get this loaded up. All right, that's the uh, truck brought over. Let's uh, enjoy a little time lapse. As you can see, my forklift skills aren't that great. And we'll get this loaded and sold. Uh, before I do that, I am going to turn the truck engine off because it is quite loud. All right, let's uh, get a quick little time lapse going as I hopefully pick up what will be the solution to our power limit problems. Got me stone cold. So it looks like I'm making matters worse by continuing at this point, so I think we just need to uh, sell it and start another load. The best place for floor tiles is the only place, which is Silver Run Market. So let's uh, strap these down. So that's 35,000 of those, which is nothing to be joked with. That is a huge amount. I'll try to get the camera in a position where we can see what's going on here. There we go. Taking a while to sell, but we'll get there. Oh, it's a hundred and six. Wow, we should be selling that more often. Wow, that was awesome. Hundred and six plus thirteen. Hundred and twenty thousand dollars just for those. Considering that is just coming from our wood plank uh, production, that is st st staggeringly good. All right, let's uh, load this up again. And uh, make some even more money.
quite a tricky little alleyway, but we made it in the end. It's interesting that the auto loading onto the truck made a glitch again right in the middle. It's like the mathematics doesn't work out or something. Uh, I think this might be slightly less than the last load, but it's still going to be close to $100,000. So definitely very good for our bank balance. And the last one. So I wonder if the furniture, which is what's right next to us, I wonder if these uh, are also at a semi-high price. If they are, we can get rid of them as well. This should definitely help our pallet limit. Now, of course, we could have put them into storage, but we might as well just get the value out of them. Let's have a look at the furniture. Is that also at a high price? Furniture, so oh, okay, it's super low right now. Variations a fair bit. Yeah, it's absolutely terrible right now. So uh, let's get these sold. Yeah, straps on 28,000 this time. I think it was 30. I can't remember. It was 34 last time or something. But that is about 50, 55 or 60 crates that have, or pallets that have been uh, removed from the well count. So I think we should unblock ourselves for a little while. Let's get these sold. And that is another spectacular $96,000, $100,000. That has definitely helped our bank account. Uh, that can stay right there. Talking a bit about bank accounts, let's pay off our loan. We can actually now do it. Goodbye loan and hello profits. And there we go, 105. Uh, that is awesome. Let's jump across to that uh, tractor there. Let's see if we can finally buy some lime. Eight. Yes. All right. Let's get this guy filled up and out onto the field. Yeah, the lime definitely gets consumed pretty fast, so not the easiest thing to keep up with. I do believe our uh, spreader here has been maxed out. It's got the maximum width and the maximum capacity. So the next option is to use one which has uh, a double wheelbase, uh, uh, four wheels rather than two. But we do this pretty rarely, so I don't think it's economically appropriate for us to go and spend that money right now all right let's um do i want to go up and down or left and right i think i might go left and right that way i don't have to worry about these trees we did clear a, a bit of a space around them but i think this might be easier so get that going and i'm gonna let the worker do that And while they're doing that, let's have a bit of... What else are we going to do for the rest of the day? I don't think we're going to get to March today. Um, but we can actually work out what our plans are. So, we are one field short. So, if we look at our crops, wheat... So, I'm just going down here. Wheat, barley, canola. Actually, we can do it this way. Uh, wheat... Barley, canola, oats will be in one of these two. Corn will be in this one. Sunflowers will be in this one. So this will be oats and sunflower. Soybeans uh, was is traditionally here. And so we probably will put soy, soybeans there. This will be potatoes. This will be, this normally is sugar beet, but barley stole it. So we're one short there. Sugar cane is over here, and will, this part here will have to get replanted. Cotton is in this big field. Sorghum goes next to home. Uh, grapes is over here. Olives is this bl uh, block here. And poplar is here. And then we look at the next page. 
grass is this section here. We can turn that on. And then red beets, carrots, parsnips are these three. And then also radish we're not doing because it's uh, a cover crop. So we need somewhere to put the sugar beet. Um, and so there's two things I want to do. A, make a field for that. And B, I want to make corn much bigger. So if we look at our productions, the cereal factory needs corn with cereal factory. Too many things. So the cereal factory uses two to one of the raisins. So I mentioned raisins because we get 15,000 grapes. 15,000 grapes turns into 15,000 raisins, which means for cereal, for it to use everything up, it needs 30,000 uh, corns because we have 15,000 raisins, easily have 15,000 honey, and we need 30,000 oats and 30,000 corn. This field easily over here can make 30,000 oats. And I also think uh, we also probably have, we already have 30,000 oats in the silo anyway. So we need a field that um, can make 30,000 corn. This one makes 40, but the pigs also need it down here. So we kind of need to make this closer to 50 or 60. So I think what I'll do is we'll make a ad hoc little field up here for the, uh, what was it called, for the sweet beets. And then we'll make a bigger one for corn. Now, we need a lot of U-turn space here, both here and here. So it'll probably be somewhere in there. So maybe a bit more freeform. These trees are in the way. But uh, yeah, so corn needs to be expanded. Maybe we just make it a weird shaped one like this. And then we'll shove the, uh, as I said, the sweet beets up there. Uh, I'm avoiding this area because I want to put productions in there later. There's not really much space here. And that's all we've got. So talking about all that, we don't own this thing. So let's buy 34. And I think that will be the final grid that we'll have for the game. So we'll have, what's that, 15 squares. So how's this guy going? He's still going fine. Just gonna find out how full they are without stopping them. So 59%, okay. So that'll last for a little bit longer. So in light of all that, let's grab the plow and we will at least mark out where the edge of our property is going to be. All right, we're flying up to that new field. As I said, we need to make sure that we have turnaround space and the turnaround space for these premium crops and also the potato crops is quite huge. Briskly, you just use the potato one as an example. You come up here and then you go forward a bit, do a U-turn, pretty wide turn, and then you're ready. So it's somewhere around here and ditto for the premium. So basically about here is about as far as we can go. So I think let's put this down. We'll do it, create crops. I just happen to be on 270. So this goes square for here for a while. Now we own past the end of this field on the left hand side and into the grapes. I don't have any intention of making the grapes longer. If we ever make them bigger, it will be wider. Because currently up and down is a full tank. So we can go past here. Um, I don't know if that tree is going to be in the way. I think it will. So I'll quickly cut that down. And just uh, clear off the foliage. It should be a light mass for us to carry, it is. And we'll just use the Lumberjack mod to get rid of that. Still on 270 degrees. We'll go pretty close to the property line. All those trees there will obviously have to come down too. Uh, I think about there we'll do. Now, this is going to be the extension of our cornfield, I think. So, dialing up zero degrees. 
like we're one pixel to too short. Let's get this done. That tree's kind of making it hard to see what we're doing. All right, so I think um, we'll go up roughly to where that tree grove is. There's a bit of a hill to it, so I doubt we'll ever turn that actually into a field. Fix this angle a bit. There we go. Being a bit pedantic here, but it does make things easier when you have to use the workers so much. Um, and I think we can end about there. We'll end before that tree. squared up um should we just make a rectangle or do we want to actually incorporate that space over there as well I think I might make this area a bit more organic and actually just join it in so we'll go around as a curve Back up to zero degrees. Uh, I probably got a little bit too close to the trees there. Yeah, actually. We'll keep that not as perfect as normal. So the more curves and stuff you put it in, it's just the harder it gets to uh, just go up and down in a pattern that makes sense. Maybe I should have pressed save before I did this. Hmm. Yeah, because this is barely going to join in. You know what? I am. Give me a sec. I'm going to back up my save game. All right, I'm back. So the last save game was 10 minutes ago. So I might have to redo some of that liming and even some of that selling. Yeah, because that doesn't really make sense what I've done there. But uh, yeah, let's make this more organic still. We'll continue to do this and see if we regret it. Go kind of, I guess, do we want to go 45 degrees? Yeah, that seems to line up with that original stripe quite well, so maybe not the worst idea. We haven't really got that many organic shapes on the farm, so it would be nice to actually have that somewhere. I do have a tree line over here on the left. Uh, we can see the planting there. So I'm keeping away from that on purpose. And the workers finished their tank off. So we'll go square this up. Yeah, it's quite an organic shape. I don't know whether it would be good or bad, but uh, since it's organic, we can finish this off. Actually, I think we'll just finish this off square. I think I might be one pixel too narrow. Well, maybe not. There I am. Well, there you go. So, having a look at the map, how does that look? Hmm. I mean, it's quite a big extension. Uh, yeah, we'll play with it, see how it goes. Might uh, make that an angle across there instead. But yeah, we'll give that a go. But that will be next time for that. Let's turn this engine off. And we'll finish off the day by just jumping into that worker's tractor with the lime. Filling it up again and uh, finishing this off. And with the worker finishing off the last row here, we'll call that the end of the episode. And also we'll say goodbye to February. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment to stick around and see us finishing off 
the everything challenge. We've already got every production and every animal. We just need to have every crop in the ground at the same time. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time on the Everything Challenge.